Hi, this is a follow-up video. I've been corresponding with Peter Popoff, the minister, and today I received a uh, blue ribbon of faith, which I'm wearing now. It was taped to this. I'm supposed to wear it for 24 hours and follow the directions as Peter Popoff is given direction by the Lord. And number one, it says to hold the enclosed blue ribbon of faith in your hand as you read this letter. To the natural eye, there is nothing special about this piece of ribbon, but to the eye of the spirit, it serves as a miracle point of contact. There, through nearly 50 years of my ministry, I've seen herds of miracles and testimony. The Lord has allowed me to see signs of wonders Follow me into cities and countries where I've ministered around the world. Then here in the, the um, bold print, it says, You told me that money will be in my account. A month later, I went to make a withdrawal, and there was $1,702 more than I had, Sister Trenton from New Jersey said. God has used me as an instrument for miracles to be manifested in lives of those who believe and act in his words in the word the words of his prophets i had asked you to pray for my husband to get a job and he did get a job thank you i asked and prayed for me because i have cancer i am cancer free thank you for your prayers for my husband and myself, Sister Smith of Georgia. I believe God for miracles to be loosened to the Algeri family. Number two, pin your blue ribbon of faith to your shirt or blouse. Wear it for 24 hours. You see people wear yellow ribbons to support the troops, pink ribbons to fight breast cancer. You are wearing a blue rig ribbon to signify, I can't say it, signify your faith of God's promise because he is faithful to perform every one of your, every one in your life right now. You will become a wealth magnet. These, this will remind you that you must obey the laws and teachings, 3940 CEV, the King James Version says, that ye may look upon it and remember. During the day, let the blue ribbon of faith serve as a reminder to you to praise God for every victory, every miracle he has ever manifested in your life. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping me alive this long and for carrying me when I could not walk on my own. If I did not have faith in the Lord, I would have chosen suicide a long time ago. But I am a true believer, and I know that there is a God. And all we have to do is know that the Lord has sent Jesus to die for our sins repent ask the lord to please forgive us for our sins and we know that you send your only son to die for our sins you sacrificed your sins lord i believe that with all my heart and i ask you to please come into my heart and i accept the lord and jesus christ is my savior and i pray this to you in jesus name please say that prayer with me also, as you look upon this ribbon, I want you to start thanking God for in advance for whatever you need manifesting in your life is being answered now. A switch towards your destination, that of happiness, health, and wealth. I couldn't even imagine what that would be like. Happiness, health, and wealth. But I do have faith that it, in God's time, not in my time. He says it he will not give us more than we can take. We must know that 
done. Very strong person. Anyway, um, if that's someone's salvation, a healing of your body, of a loved one, a marriage restored, a home for yourself, or money to pay, educational expenses, expenses for your daughters, whether your needs, praise God for it immediately, and it will manifestation. Lord, I ask you to please bless our children, keep them safe, bless my unborn grandchild, fill their hearts with love. I also to ask you to fill everybody in this ministry's hearts with love. Don't let any of it, anybody feel loneliness. Lord, we pray that you never, ever let anybody feel the way that they did Michael Jackson, isolated, alone. We just ask and thank God that you were in his heart and kept him protected from those feelings that he would have had if he did not have the Lord in his heart. You, I know, carried MJ when he could not walk himself. And just carry those who cannot walk, please. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. The morning, the morning after you wear the ribbon, before you head out to work or begin your daily duties, I want you to print your name on the blue ribbon of faith and return it to me. When I receive your blue ribbon of faith, I will touch it and agree with you in this precious and powerful prayer of agreement for your mega harvest, Matthew 18, 19. Number three. He directed me to call your personal attention to the words found in the Numbers 1541, which teaches us, I am your God who rescued you from the land of e Egypt to your personal God. Yes, I am God, your God, MSG Bible. When God rescues the children of Israel, he brought them out of Egypt, not as slaves, but as very wealthy people. They went from the land of not enough through the wilderness with just enough into the land with more than enough. I claim this for you. Twelve perfect months, the same as God has who delivered Mo Moses and the children of Israel out of the captivity of lack of wants and needs leads you out of bondage and debt and, and not enough. Sister Algeria, make no mistake about it. He wants this for you, your personal God. He wants your you to meet every need you have. I pray this for you and good fortune in everything you do and for your good health that every day affairs prosper as well as your soul. Not to let me be the very clear the devil has, eat. even those you love may try to tell you that it's ridiculous to pin this blue ribbon of faith on your clothing. It seemed ridiculous when God told Moses to raise his rod over the Red Sea. But when the spirits of God is moving as he is right now, something powerful is about to happen. And I don't want you to be left out. The sea of red ink is about to be parted for you. The attacks of the enemy are about to be drowned by, in, by the water of the anointed word over your life. You are on the verge of moving into the promised land, knowing God is your personal God, your deliverer, your miracle working God. Twelve perfect months. Number four, finally, Stacy. I feel led 
of the Lord to ask you to sow the Blue Ribbon Faith Seed of $36.11 and activate Job 3611, which I'm going to do that. Like I said, at our home, we lost everything. I had to sell my vehicle to clear off the lot. The only thing now we have is an 89 Chrysler. I'm going to take it to the salvage yard because I have not been sowing seed. I've been responding, and I have nothing to offer. I have no money, nothing coming in because I'm disabled right now in the process of trying to get approved. And... There's no possible way I can physically work. So the only thing that I can do, and I was laying there, God said, sell your car, Stacy, sell your car. And the devil saying, Stacy, but you, you might have to live in that car in the next two weeks when we have to move out of here. So the devil's telling me, don't sell that car. That's all you have. That's all you have. That might be where you have to live because there aren't any resources. Red Cross helps you for 72 hours. Um, United Way is just a referral service. Um, human Services, they helped with $300. So there is, there is no resources out there. And I'm going to do as God's telling me to do. And I'm going to sell this car. And I'm going to send every dime that I get and pray about it. Because... With God, all things are possible, and I want to prevent anybody from ever being in the situation where they feel hopeless and helpless, and I want to start a um, non-profit organization where I can pick up the ball when it's dropped, when there's no resources available, and I want to actually show people where their money is going. I want to be able to walk down the road, see a man sleeping on the side of the road, and say, come here, come with me. And I want to take him to an apartment and get him set up in an apartment, furnish it, clothe it, and I want to bring him to the Lord and bring him to the church and really save his life. And um, that's, that's what I'm praying for. And Thank you for watching my video, and God bless you, and, and please say that prayer if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, because He is alive, He is real. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.